The third annual Vail Scientific Summit is all about regenerative medicine. And for athletes, that means the possibility of getting back to competition as quickly as possible. For Olympic athletes who may only have one chance at a Games in their life, this is critically important. And that was emphasized by Vice President of the United States Olympic Committee, Dr. Bill Moreau. I spoke to him earlier. Talk to me about your athletic career, how you came up into this world, became a chiropractor, how you got involved with the USOC. Well, you know, I, I ended my athletic career as a high school football player, and uh, I figured out that uh, I'm smarter than I am an athlete when it comes to football. And so I really ended my actual competitive career at that time and really devoted myself towards education. So it was a family tradition. My father was a chiropractor, and I followed into that type of steps. But I practiced in a small community in rural Iowa, and I found that you need to be able to manage what walks into your office to the best of your ability to help that patient. And that requires a multiple disciplinary interrelated care panel. Nobody knows everything to every answer. And I think it's important for the clinician who is taking care of athletes to recognize that. So you have to have experts that you can develop relationships with so that your athlete or your patient can receive the best services. So how did you get to the USOC? Well, I've been involved in sports and uh, quite a while in regards to riding and lecturing and things like that. And the USOC had an awareness of me. And I really believe that life should be an adventure. And I was in private practice for almost 30 years and I was really, really enjoyed it, taking care of people. But I really wanted to see what else was out there for the next chapter. And I started out, uh, they had a position opening at the USOC, and I interviewed for a clinic manager slot and got hired and eventually ended up uh, being the first non-ATC clinician to be an employee of the United States Olympic Committee in Colorado Springs. I started managing that clinic. A lot of times people talk about patient-centered care, but in actuality, patient-centered care is kind of difficult to find. And I really believe that the best health care opportunities can be provided by people who are absolutely dedicated towards the patient that sits before them and place all other needs, personal or political, aside. And so I thought, what better place to come to than the United States Olympic Committee where all of your patients are Olympic and Paralympic athletes or hopefuls? And uh, it's a patriotic organization. And so I thought there's a place where people can come together to collaborate for patient care. And that's exactly what happened. And so I really built a foundation along with my team that's based upon multiple disciplines in the field of healthcare, literally working together for the benefit of one, the patient. And we've been successful in doing that. And we believe that the medical services provided within the United States of America provide for a competitive advantage on the field of play. And so through the incorporation of new technologies, new procedures, and collaborative relationships, we really think that Team USA is in the best position that they've ever been in regards to health and wellness as we approach our games. If we compare the USOC's program in this area to other teams around the world, uh, are we at the top? Are we the leader? Uh. Well, you know, we think we're the leader. Um, I'm sure that many of my colleagues in other countries feel that they're the leader. And so I really don't compete with other countries. We only compete with ourselves. We need to become better every year compared to the year before in order to provide the most effective and efficient care for Team USA. There's a lot to be done and it's through our partnership with great institutions like the Stedman Clinic and the Stedman Philippon Research Institute that we're able to express the tip of the arrow when it comes to the applications of science and technology to the benefit of patient care. The Stedman Clinic and the Stedman Philippon Research Institute have already had an extensive international relationship with some of the finest athletes around the globe from many different fields of sport. Professional, high school, collegiate, uh, they're commonly seen walking the hallways here. The United States Olympic Committee has the responsibility of helping to manage and assist to the Olympic and Paralympic athletes' health and wellness. So it doesn't it make sense to be able to build this partnership between the United States Olympic Committee, the Stedman Clinic, and the Stedman Philippon Research Institute? to be able to take care of Team USA, 
because it's a privilege and also a huge responsibility to look at an injured athlete who has worked their entire life and they question, will I ever return to the field of play again or not? And to be able to then access the resources of the Stedman Clinic to be able to put them in front of the right doctors, the right support teams that can give them the cutting edge care that they need in order to return to the field of play. Not only return to the field of play, but return to the field of play at the elite level. And they've been very successful doing that. Well, the Vail Scientific Summit is its an amazing opportunity to be able to hear literally the people that are the experts in the world about regenerative medicine and protective medicine. And to have that opportunity to learn where are those little niches and spots that we might be able to apply this type of medicine to Team USA's athletes to preserve and protect our health. You know, our number one goal is to simply field a healthy team. But we, we believe that the diversity of the United States athlete is one of the greatest strengths of the United States of America. We have all different kinds of athletes of every different shape, size, and look that we can put onto the field of play. And so if we can preserve their health, we know that they'll take care of it for, on the field of play. And the opportunity to partner with Dr. Johnny Heard and other people who are cutting edge researchers definitely provides us with that opportunity to see what the future is holding because in actuality, many times the future is now.